Hi guys, it's Luton here. Welcome back for another video with me. And we're on Conquest Domination on Zebra Tower. Now, there's a specific reason why we're on Conquest Domination Zebra Tower. And that's because this week, obviously, we've seen Black Ops 2 out. And I've been playing Black Ops 2. And I've been having a reasonably good time with it, uh, apart from some of the issues there. But that's not really what I'm thinking about today. Uh, what I was thinking about was the fact that I've been playing Black Ops. Now, I haven't played COD for about a year and a half. I hadn't really played it, you know. And I was very sort of looking forward to getting back into it and, and finding the sort of slightly different dynamic of it. However, having played it all this week and thought about it and sort of seen the dynamic of the gameplay and how things are playing out, it got me to thinking that I think actually I actually prefer the Battlefield and Frostbite engine for my now close quarter battle gameplay. And... A lot of people weren't too keen on uh, close quarters for Battlefield 3 because they were like, oh, it's not Battlefield, blah, 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 and they didn't really like it so much. I really, really enjoyed it because it gave me a change of, as I said at the time when the game came out, it gave me a change of, of playstyle, of, of gameplay, um, and it meant I didn't have to change out the game. Now, normally one game stays to a generally, you know, the same sort of style of gameplay. What's really good about what they did with Battlefield 3 with the differing DLCs, rather than just putting out a few new maps of the same stuff, they chose DLCs which really changed the game. Now, some people didn't like this. They didn't like the fact that they were posting out pistol fail right there. They didn't change out. I'm always sucked for pistols. I'm not very good with pistols. I was uh, watching some gameplay on my competition one that I posted up earlier. Piss poor. Seriously. <laughs> I pull out the pistols. I'm like, I'm not even shooting at the guy's chest. What's going on here? So that's something I need to definitely work on. But um, anyway, anyway. Yeah, a lot of people, they didn't like the fact that um, they were putting these like, oh, look at this guy. What the hell? Oh, I remember this game now. I remember this game. This guy he was just using the Spaz shotgun and his tactic for every game we played was to sit in corners with the Spaz shotgun. Anyway, whatever. So, people didn't like the fact that they changed the style of the gameplay so much. They were like, oh, this is not Battlefield. I don't really have such an issue with that. Because if you look at the, you know, the power of the Frostbite 2 engine and what DICE had done with it in this, these DLCs, okay, it was so, so great. The fact that, look at the, the chaotic sort of the dirty particles and everything like this. Like I've said before, um, like I said with Wake Island, it's very like dark, visceral, really sort of grimy, dirty gameplay. Look at this, there's such a mess everywhere, it really is. And um, I, I was saying this to the guys on the round table is that, you know, you really feel like you've been spoiled with Battlefield 3 because whenever you play any other game, any other FPS game now, the environment and the, the feeling of the dynamics of the game and the general mechanics just feel not good compared to Battlefield. And that's really what I found with, with COD this week, which is that the game itself, it looks pretty good, it plays pretty good, but compared to Battlefield, in terms of like, you know, stuff like that right there, the fluidity of movement and the, the you see that as well like the blurring the suppression a lot of people don't like suppression they hate it they're like oh it sucks you know I can't see a blah 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 I actually really love it I, I think suppression is a great effect I think it's a, I think it's an intelligent thing to add to the game because it creates a kind of effect from actually being in combat which is something that you know the developers it's very difficult for them to do because as I discussed with Dascro it's quite hard to create the impact or recoil of a weapon properly to a player, you know, so that you actually feel like you're in the game. And adding like a suppression effect, why am I running away from A whilst it's being capped? Blind as anything, aren't I? I think I must have decided that I was going to C and then just decided, what? that's stupid, I should have just gone around and run up those stairs. But anyway, yeah, so a lot of people, you know, they don't like suppression either. People just don't like anything, do they, really? That's the thing nowadays, people just don't like anything. They can't, it seems to be very uh, not in vogue to um, to like things nowadays. It's it's really the, the thing to, to dislike stuff, you've got to hate everything. But um, no, I, I really do. And, um, you know, Call of Duty has a lot going for it in terms of its gameplay and the sort of things that it does there. But when it comes to close quarters, I actually really like Battlefield for it. I find it more enjoyable. I, I, I like the fluidity of the game. I like the feel and the mechanics of the gunplay. The gunplay is so strong in Battlefield that when you transfer it into any situation, it's just absolutely awesome, especially in a close quarters you know, situation. So I really think that when Battlefield 4 or Bad Company 3 or Bad Company whatever, or whatever they decide to do in the next game, um, I really hope that they provide almost 50-50 close quarters and you know traditional battlefield style content because I think there's a huge 
opportunity there and a huge market to kind of pretty much dominate all aspects of the market. Um, the Battlefield Close Quarters gameplay is so superior that, and the, the, the feel of the Frostbite 2 engine as well, which is also superior. It just feels like it's got everything, it really does. And, um, you know, there's there's a lot of things that with uh, Call of Duty are, are really excellent, like the Pick 10 system and the fact there's loads and loads of equipment and all sorts of tools and perks and different materials which allows you to add vast customization to your character and to provide you strengths or weaknesses in different situations. So there's loads of things there. Battlefield doesn't necessarily have that so much, it's got a slightly more uh, base layout for your character and so on, but it, you still have a huge amount of variety and choice in in terms of optics, perks, and, and you know all these sorts of things here. And when it comes to this kind of close quarter battle gameplay, I've just been enjoying it on Battlefield more and more. Um, the other good thing is that, as I said before, you've got it all in one game. You know, you don't have to change out to a different game or anything. You can, if you one evening are playing a few rounds on Rush or Conquest, and you feel like, okay, the teams are not that great, and you're having a bit of a frustrating time, this is actually often exactly what I will do. If I feel like the game's really not going that fantastic, I will suddenly be like, oh, do you know, I'm just going to pick up, I'm going to, uh, if I'm playing with my team even, and I say, do you know, guys, I'm not feeling it tonight, I'm going to pick up some close quarter games, and I'm going to head off. I'll play five or six close quarter games and then come on for crying out loud thank you god what is on with me this this, this game actually turns out quite well but evidently i think i could have got a lot more kills than i really could have done there we go that's better but um yes i so i really feel that that's that's another awesome thing is that you don't have to change out every time you want to change if if battlefield was all about just the huge open world gameplay and you wanted to get some real nice close quarter battles, uh, really sort of more um, team based, team deathmatch stuff, then you probably were going to have to look towards. Um you know something like Call of Duty. I mean, obviously, yes, we have team deathmatch on some of these larger maps, and the you know the the boundaries are scaled down to allow for that. But this close quarter DLC was really built for these kind of close quarter battles, and I think it really excels. The map design on these ones, not perfect on every single map, but for the most part, really, really good. Donya, excellent. Zebra excellent the only one that really sucked was the kind of well it didn't really suck but it just wasn't as good was scrap metal that one it just wasn't so good because it was a bit over complicated some of it it was a bit too dark there was a lot of hiding spots etc etc but it still plays out well i just didn't rate it as much as the other ones and um operation 925 i would say was kind of in the middle there zebra and donya i think were the best and uh, operation 95 in the middle and scrap metal is not my favorite really. Uh, Operation 95 was kind of interesting as well because it was like a, you know, it was a close quarter environment, but it had lots of these long corridors. So it put you in a kind of situation of like, okay, what? Oh, come on, please let that land up there. Ah, uh, thought I was going to get a kill. But yeah, uh, Z not Z, but Operation 925, it was an interesting one because it put you in the situation of, because you had these very long corridors, okay, do you take like an accurate slow firing long range weapon, or do you opt for a fast fire rate sort of shotgun setup, whatever, because you really had like a 50-50 balance between there, so that was a, it was a really interesting dynamic you got out of that. So, when they come to the new battlefield, and I know that a lot of people are going to be like, Luton, you suck, uh, you making battlefield not what it's better to be. Yeah, okay, I'm not a purist when it comes to games. I'm quite happy to see them evolve and change, and I think that that's, you know, a good thing. I think it's really bad, in fact, when games actually stay the same, because when games stay the same too much, then people start to complain, they get bored, blah, blah, blah. It's really good for them to change it and, and try different things. That's also another really amazing thing with the DLCs, and we've obviously got Aftermath coming out, which I'm very excited about. Um, I actually think that Aftermath is probably going to be, maybe, I don't know whether it'll be the best, <laughs> arguably the best of the new DLCs because um, obviously we have to wait and see till it comes out, we don't know, we don't know how the map's layout's going to be, how fair, how balanced they're going to be, how the new weapons are going to be, how the, the whole thing is going to compare to the other DLCs. However, on the face of it, on paper, I feel that it's going to be really good because I think it's going to offer the sort of thing that we got with the Carcand DLC. Um, Karkan never feels very much like a DLC, it almost feels like it was just kind of auto-built into the game, but Karkan was a DLC. And um, I think Karkan was a good DLC because, again, it offered kind of traditional battlefield maps, but with a more sort of urban combat, slightly more close-quarter battle environment. They offered 
because of the lack of air support on some of those maps, um, they offered much more sort of intense on the ground fighting, which I think is what people really enjoy. I think that does tie in with my other topic that I've been talking about of removing jets. I think that I think the jets have a place, but I think the jets could be perhaps constrained to um, conquest rather than rush or if they are going to be on rush then you know they should be have different mechanics in place but that's a whole other topic but what it comes down to is that i think that this kind of close quarter battle environment is really what battlefield kind of excels at now i know people are going to disagree and also they're probably going to be like well that's because you're a console player blah 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 yeah probably it's true that's probably where my opinion is coming from because uh, you know i don't experience so many of those you know really intense huge fights where there's more people around and so on and so on but i still think that at the face of it the gameplay mechanics are the same no matter how many people you have um, the the the, in, the type of kind of small situations you encounter when you're facing two or three other people always will remain the same doesn't matter how many people are in the server overall so that's why I really think that what Battlefield is doing very well with the new engine and with the please kill this guy thank you I think that's what I want to see more of. That's what I want to see more of anyways, because that's what I've been enjoying. And as I say, when I compare it to other games, I feel that the Battlefield really stacks up better. I think it has a better overall process of engagement and combat. I think the maps uh, suit better. I think the, the Frostbite 2 engine supports those maps better in the way that the situations, the, the environment can be destroyed. It feels more immersive and therefore you get a better experience out of it as a result. You become more entrenched into the game itself. Whereas when I've been playing other titles, it often is not so much the case. So I want to know what you guys think, whether you think you, the Battlefield would suit more kind of close quarter environments. And when the new game comes out, do you think that the initial release should have some kind of close quarter setup involved in it or do you think that they should do it again as a DLC? Personally I think that they should support close quarters situations with the new game as much as they would rush or conquest. I think it could be a whole sort of specific setup for the game from day one. Um, there is obviously a danger with that and I know that people will say this as well, is the danger with it is that if you start leading it too much towards that direction, then it will change the general way that people play the game. However, my single point with that is that people already don't play this game well. I think everybody would agree that in the last four or five months, the general quality, as I've discussed on other videos, of players has significantly declined. And um, I think there's probably a few factors about this that we can't really sort of have time to go into right now. But with that in mind, I think that this kind of gameplay, if you provide it, people will hopefully play towards that slightly more. I don't know. All I know is that I really enjoy this kind of situational gameplay, I really do. I think that it's fast, it's intense, the support of the engine as I've said multiple times in this video, I think it really really does benefit it much more so, and I'm going to just say because comparing it to COD, because with Call of Duty I just feel like the map design and so on and so on, I'm not comparing the game side by side in terms of their overall mechanic dynamic, because like I say, um, with COD you have different things like PIC10 and their server system works differently, all these things. That's not what I'm looking at. What I'm thinking of is simply how you feel in the game between the two. So when I'm thinking of, okay, how does the game compare in terms of its immersive feeling, like how much do you feel? And I discussed this with the guys, I said that when I play Call of Duty, the environment feels very cardboard, it feels quite dead. That's really what I'm thinking of when I'm saying, okay, if we look at the two, which one has you know which one supports close quarters sort of situations better i think that battlefield does just simply because of the frostbite 2 engine and i think also as a battlefield player having gone back and played some cod this week i think it's a pretty natural thing to to look at the two titles because you're playing and think okay out of these two games that i have right in front of me now which one do i want to play more which one do i enjoy more and for what reasons and for me i feel that frostbite 2 is a better engine for this kind of close quarter gameplay. I think it's good that you can have the variety of battlefield that it offers. You can play Rush or Conquest or you can jump into close quarters or even if you wanted a huge huge game going to Armored Kill. It's all there for you all in one game and that's why at the moment my personal opinion is that Battlefield 3 despite being a year old is still the standalone best FPS that you can buy right now. It really is. There is nothing that compares to Battlefield in terms of what everything that it offers in terms of equipment, gameplay, team play, the entire environment that you play in. It really is. Nothing compares to it. I mean, people looking at Planet Side 2, Planet Side 2 doesn't have a lot of the things that Battlefield does in terms of its engine, its environments and everything else, the overall feel of the game. And as always, look forward to hearing what you guys have to say, whether you agree or disagree. If you've got both titles, you've played them out, which one you prefer and why. And if you can rate, share the video, that really helps me out. I'll see you for some more Battlefield 3 content very soon.